Hi, I'm Simona and I'm your teacher for this module. Science and humanities are usually considered as two different cultures. University curricula are sharply divided. If you choose to study science, it's probably unlikely that you will be asked to read poetry. And if you choose to study, say, English literature, you won't be exposed to much biology or physics. Every year around this time, the issue of what you should study hits the media. Newspaper will ask the eagerly vexed question, is it better to enroll in science college, which would nearly certainly give you a job, or humanities, which can refine some personal or intellectual skills? Although the two cultures are split, both in education and public perception, we will show that this gap is largely artificial and detrimental to the development of personal and professional skills. It is artificial because most of us probably have interests and talents that bridge these two cultures. Singing, playing an instrument, painting, for some of us release stress and enable to concentrate better. Observing molecules at a microscope might not just teach us something about biology, it might make us hold our breath for their beauty. What I'm getting at is that our responses to the stimuli coming from the world are complex and in themselves bridge the two cultures. This has been recognized for some time and used in medicine. Arts therapy, music therapy, drama therapy are examples of the ways in which the two cultures can work together and work better if they work together. This unit will give you an opportunity to understand the connection between science and humanities. It will enable science students to express their creativity in a way that can be integrated and recognized in their curriculum and humanities students to learn about science and how closely intertwined it might be with the arts they are studying and developing. We aim at giving you the chance to analyse different types of discourses around science and its role in society and to connect and integrate scientific knowledge with an understanding of human experience. This unit will thus help you to develop a range of key skills that will benefit your future career, how to challenge assumptions, how to think laterally, how to synthesize concepts across different modes of expression. Whatever your career will be, you will have gained an original outlook that will be unique to you and that will facilitate accomplishments in your chosen field.